and you see my son leaving. My son was trying to get home. He was seven steps from home, and he was trying to get home because I could protect him. Well, that's new reaction today from the grieving mother of Jarvian Hudspeth and demands for more information. Now, this comes one day after the Shelby County District Attorney's Office released video of the traffic stop back in June that ended with a sheriff's deputy shooting Jarvian Hudspeth in the Raleigh neighborhood area. Now, our Richard Ransom is here to recap that video and those demands that followed. Richard. Thank you, Pepper. Before we show you what happened at today's vigil, if you haven't seen it, let's show you the video that was released uh, just yesterday of the traffic stop that brought Ben Crump and Jarvie and Hudspeth's family back to Memphis. The dash cam video shows Hudspeth getting out of the vehicle and walking to the trunk of the car, as you're going to see here in a minute. The deputy will search Hudspeth's pockets. Let's let him get out of the car there and walk around to the trunk of that Mustang. There you go, he's gonna search his pockets and then he's gonna reach for something and begins to return back to the driver's side. It happens right here. The deputy follows Hudspeth and tries to prevent him from getting back in the car, but he hits the gas, Hudspeth does, and the deputy is seen hanging on half inside, half outside the vehicle as it speeds away and out of sight of the dash cam. Switching to body cam footage here, the deputy again warning Hudspeth not to get back in the car, but Hudspeth ignores that order and steps on the gas. Again, the deputy hanging on with Hudspeth just having the other foot outside of the car. In Sheriff Bonner's first statement on the shooting, he said the officer was dragged nearly 100 yards. Now, we stopped the footage right here just seconds before the officer then fires the gun and is ejected from the vehicle. Now, with all that fresh in the public's mind, nationally known attorney Ben Crump and Hudspeth's family holding that vigil we mentioned, reacting to the video's release. Community advocates were there, too. And outside the Criminal Justice Center, they outlined how over the past decade, almost 60 men and women have died either while in custody or following some kind of interaction between deputies or officers, Memphis police officers. And these organizers say in too many of those cases there remain too many lingering questions including Hudspeth's. There was no clarification why he was pulled he was pulled over even with uh, even with Jarvin pulling off it should not have ended in death. Well, she's right, at least about that first part where she said it's still unclear why, uh, even after the footage is being released, why he was pulled over in the first place. So far, nothing from the sheriff's office about the video's release. Pepper? Lots of questions still unanswered. Thank you, Richard.